What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to update to iOS 14.8 without any blobs. This is useful if you've had an AirTag just laying around for the past six months like me, or you just wanna be on the latest version of iOS that has a jailbreak, which at this current time is iOS 14.8, then this video is for you. So before we do this, there's a couple things to keep in mind. In order to use this method, you have between now and January 9th. I know, sorry, not a ton of time. You have three days to get this done. So if you want to get to 14.8 and you see this video before January 9th, make sure you do that as soon as possible because this method is not going to last forever and on January 9th, it won't work anymore. If you're watching this video to get to 14.8, chances are you probably want to use the 14.8 jailbreak. So it's important to know that the initial versions of the 14.8 jailbreak only work on A12 and A13 iPhones, and as of right now, it does not work on iPads. So you really can use this with any device, but keep in mind that if you're updating for the sole purpose of using the 14.8 jailbreak, if you have an iPad or you have devices that are not A12 and A13, you cannot use the 14.8 jailbreak right now. In the future, that will likely change, but for now, unfortunately, you can't use it. Also, make a backup of your device on your computer. I learned this the hard way, but if you don't have a lot of storage, OTA updates require at least six, seven, maybe even 10 gigabytes. It takes a lot in order to download the firmware, unpack it, install it. So if that's you and you don't have a ton of storage to deal with, then it might make more sense to go and do erase all content and settings and then restore from that backup that you just made. With all that being said, if we go into Cydia now and we search for this package that you see on the screen with the repo added that you see on the screen as well, if we search for that and we add that package to our device, we will now be able to actually use this 90 day delay certificate that this will actually grant us in order to go to 14.8. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So once we install this tweak, if we go into the settings of this tweak and scroll all the way down, we should go all the way down to where it says enable supervision spoofing. From there, we're just gonna tap on that and it's gonna tell us that this will kill the settings page if we enable it. So we're just gonna go ahead and enable it. From there, if we go back into the settings page, you can see it now says this iPhone is supervised and managed. That's a good thing. We also wanna make sure that in the uncover settings, we have disable auto updates off. So go ahead and turn that off, read jailbreak, and then go to settings, general software update. If everything works the right way, you should see that auto updates now populate. So now in order to get the 14.8 update to pop up, we need to go and install the profile. You can find that in the description of this video. So once we download that profile, it's gonna tell us to go into settings and choose how we want to install it. So you're gonna go to profiles and device management and tap on that profile. And then from there, you can see all we have to do is just install it. And then it's gonna ask for our passcode. We'll put that in, install it again. And then from there, once we install it, when we go ahead and go back into software updates, we should now see 14.8 show up. So now, as I had said, although this update is 4.7 gigabytes, this update will not actually be able to be installed unless you have 5.29 gigabytes of onboard free space. So make sure you have that and make sure you have enough space in order to do that. However, from here, we wanna actually go back into Uncover, and now what we're gonna do is actually restore root FS. So make sure that restore root FS toggle is toggled on, and then from there, we're just gonna go through the restore root FS process, and what this does is it unjailbreaks the device and puts it in a regular stock mode, and you can see if I search for Cydia, it is no longer there because we are no longer jailbroken. Although we're no longer jailbroken, as long as you did everything right, if you go back into software update, you should now see 14.8's update populates, and we can go ahead and download it and install it. And then eventually when everything is all said and done, we will be on 14.8. However, sometimes it's not as simple. And if you're running into a lot of technical issues with storage and stuff like that, you might see the verifying update process go through a bunch of times. If you don't have enough storage on your device to make it the whole way through this installation process, it will go through verifying update and it will just kind of continuously loop there and you won't see anything happen on your end. So if that's what's going on for you, that's why, and that's how to troubleshoot it. Anyway, if you have no problems, you should see your device is now updated to iOS 14.8. And there we go, several hours later for me and a lot of technical storage issues later, I'm finally on 14.8 and I can finally use the latest version of Uncover to jailbreak. 
All right, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy and this video helped, please hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.